Welcome to the Lake Shasta update for April 2024. The water level at California's largest reservoir is currently 1,053 feet 11 inches above mean sea level. That's an increase of 23 feet since our last Lake Shasta update. The winter season got a late start, but thanks to a relentless series of storms in February and March, the water level at Lake Shasta has risen by a phenomenal 41 feet so far this year. The current water elevation is 239 feet above minimum power pool and only 13 feet below the full pool elevation. Hello and welcome to Time Bomb. In my last Lake Shasta update, I argued that dam managers were waiting too long to increase outflows from Lake Shasta to make way for impending storms. Now I'm sure that dam managers watch my videos because just a few days later, sure enough, they did increase releases to make room in the reservoir. Well, in this episode, I'm asking the same question. Outflows from Lake Shasta have been reduced, yet inflows are still strong and water levels are rising fast. In fact, the water level at Lake Shasta is 16 feet higher than this time last year. Is the Bureau of Reclamation letting the water rise too high? You're about to find out. Hey, hit that like button. This is Time Bomb. Let's get started. The current water level of 1,053 feet is 23 feet above the historical average for this date. The highest water level at Lake Shasta was recorded on May 31, 2019, when the reservoir peaked at 1,064 feet. That's just shy of the full pool elevation of 1,067 feet. The record low for the reservoir was set during the drought of 1977, when the water level dropped to just 836 feet above mean sea level. When we look at previous year's water level, we see the Lake Shasta Reservoir has increased by 16 feet compared to the same time last year. When compared to 2022, the reservoir is an unbelievable 112 feet higher. Water levels in the reservoir are 5 feet above where they were at this time in 2017. That's the last time the spillway was used to reduce water levels before the events of this year. The current capacity of Lake Shasta Reservoir is 4,172,000 acre feet, which is 91% of full pool capacity. The average capacity on this date is 3.6 million acre feet. The record low of 536,000 acre feet was set in September of 1977. Full pool capacity is 4,552,000 acre feet. Okay, let's talk about how there might be too much water in Lake Shasta. This is a chart of the water level in Lake Shasta for the 2024 water year that started on October 1st, 2023. Notice the three intervals where water levels have sharply increased. The first is from mid-January to early February, where Shasta gained 24 feet in elevation. Another br a brief period of sharp gains was in mid-February and that increased water levels by seven feet. And the recent period of gains that started in early March and is still continuing into April has so far added another 15 feet in elevation. It's all of these sharp gains that I wanna talk about. But first, let me adjust this chart so we can see the full pool elevation. At the current water elevation of just below 1,054 feet, we are only 13 feet from the full pool elevation. This is a very high water elevation for this time of year. Typically, at the end of March, we start to become concerned with the snow melt and resulting runoff. Some years were worried that there won't be enough snow and runoff to refill the reservoir. But this year is very different. Lake Shasta is already full from last year's record-breaking winter and the recent surges in water elevation thanks to this winter storm activity. Now I'll talk about the snowpack later in this video, but the point I'm trying to make is that the snow melt usually hits Lake Shasta in April. In anticipation of this inspected increase in water levels, dam managers should consider increasing releases from Shasta Dam to make room for the incoming surge in water. But instead of increasing outflows, they've decreased outflows. This is a chart of outflows from Shasta Dam for the 2024 water year. You see the huge increase in outflows in late February? That was part of the flood control operations due to the atmospheric rivers. However, since then, outflows have been decreased and are now at only 4,000 cubic feet per second. 
This is very similar to how Shasta Dam was managed last year. They reduced outflows and let the reservoir reach a peak elevation of 1,064 feet in May. That's just three feet shy of the full pool elevation. This is a testament to how well Shasta Dam and its reservoir are managed. But last winter, Lake Shasta was recovering from very low water levels. There was a lot more space in the reservoir to fill. This year is different. Shasta is already at 91% full. In fact, the current water level in Lake Shasta is 16 feet above the water level at the same time last year. So with temperatures already on the rise, the snow is already melting and that resulting runoff is going to lead to surges in water elevation in Lake Shasta. This is a very tricky time for dam managers. They want to capture as much water as possible, but they also do not want to risk a potential flood situation due to overcapacity. The question is, can they pull it off without increased outflows or opening the spillway? Well, I asked the dam manager, Don Bader, the same question. We'll hear, hear what he has to say after the snowpack report. The California Department of Water Resources breaks up their snowpack report into three different regions the Northern Sierra Trinity region, the Central, and Southern regions. For Lake Shasta, we want to focus on the Northern Sierra Trinity region. That's the snowpack that will impact water levels at Lake Shasta in just a few weeks' time. The snow water equivalent for the Northern region stands at 32.6 inches. That's a healthy 119% of its normal percentage and 118% of the April 1st average indicating an above average snowpack that's about to melt and rush into Lake Shasta. So the current status of Lake Shasta is looking great. We have a near full reservoir and an above average snowpack waiting in the mountains above Lake Shasta to melt and add more water to the reservoir. The big concern at this time is how quickly that snow will melt and do we have enough space in the reservoir to capture it all or should they increase outflows from the Shasta Dam to create more space? Well, I reached out to Don Bader. He's the area manager of the Bureau of Reclamation's Northern California office. Here's what he had to say. We're expecting it to creep right up to the top. The rain rate now is perfect for us to just top it off by the end of April. Mr. Bader also added that the last 10 to 20% of space in the lake is the most difficult to fill. The lake is shaped similar to a funnel narrow at the bottom and wide at the top. The reservoir fills slower at the closer it gets to full because it's wider at that point. So he's kind of saying that we have enough room at the top of the dam to support whatever incoming snowmelt runoff we have coming into the lake at least over the next few weeks. They'll keep an eye on it and adjust things accordingly. He wouldn't let me know if they would increase outflows or use the spillway at all. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Hey, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video next week. And in the meantime, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. I really appreciate your support.